Garrett Augustus Morgan Sr. was born on March 4, 1877 at Claysville, Harrison County, Kentucky, to Sidney Morgan, son of a free slave, and Elizabeth Reed, a Native American slave. Morgan attended the Branch Elementary School in Claysville, where he obtained a sixth grade education before moving to Cincinnati, Ohio at age 14 in search of work. He got a job as a handyman for a landowner and had to quit school to give full attention to his job. But his love for education was stronger, causing him to hire a tutor who taught him while he continued his work. In 1895, Morgan relocated to Cleveland, Ohio and began another job there as a sewing machine repairer for a clothing manufacturing company. His experience at this place was what propelled Morgan's interest in how sewing machines worked. Morgan began working on his first invention during this period, which was a belt fastener used for sewing machines. He kept on building his reputation in Cleveland with his skills at fixing things while he waited for his invention to be patented. He took the decision to marry his first wife, Madge Nelson, in 1896, but they divorced in 1898 with no children. With experience in sewing machines that had lasted nearly a decade, Morgan opened his own sewing machine shop in 1907. The next year, together with his wife, Mary Ann Hissek, whom he married the same year and later had three children with, they expanded their business with a shop called Morgan's Court Rates Ladies Clothing Store, which had 32 employees. Morgan became tied to being a repairer of other people's inventions and decided to develop his own invention. In his research, Morgan discovered that a particular liquid could straighten hair. He made that liquid into the cream in 1905 and incorporated it into his hairline products that were awaiting patent and launched the G.A. Morgan Hair Refining Company, which sold all his hair products, including the hair straightening comb he later invented in 1910. While he was at that, his belt fastener invention was patented in 1912. Morgan also found out in 1913 through his experiments that a liquid could give sewing machine needles a high polish that prevented the sewing fabric from being burned. Morgan founded a weekly newspaper, The Cleveland Call, in 1920, which was later merged to become Cleveland Call and Post newspaper. In 1922, Morgan filed for a patent for a traffic control device that had a third warning sign after witnessing a serious accident at a road intersection. The patent was granted in 1923, which established the warning street light sign then. Morgan joined the Prince Hall Freemasons, Accessor Lodge No. 11 of Cleveland, Ohio. He also ran for a seat on the Cleveland, Ohio Council as an independent after realizing that African-American citizens were not being cared for by the city, but he was not elected. Morgan, who had poor health for the later part of his life, developed glaucoma later in life and went blind in 1943. But this did not stop him from continuing work on his inventions, the last of which was a self-extinguishing cigarette. Morgan died in Cleveland, Ohio on 27th July 1963 and was buried at the Lakeview Cemetery. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.